Yo, what's going on guys? It's G-Miners here. The Stasis Warlock build in this video is actually insane. This is, in my opinion, the best ad clear in game that will be just as good in end game content like day one for the Vow of the Disciple raid. I thought of this build yesterday when I was stuck at my college with classes all day. Today, I finally tried it out and it is way better than I could have ever imagined. Starting with the Stasis subclass, we are going to be running Cold Snap Grenades. These will seek out and freeze targets nearby, and then after that, an additional Frozen Seeker will be sent out to freeze another enemy. We are going to be combining this with our first aspect, which is Ice Flare Bolts. With this, anytime we shatter a Frozen target, another Seeker will spawn that seeks out enemies to freeze them as well. The second aspect we are going to be using is Glacial Harvest. When an enemy becomes frozen, they are now going to spawn a Stasis Shard in their proximity for us to pick up. These aspects give us four fragment slots. Whisper of Fissures will allow for the burst explosion that results from shattering enemies to have a much larger AoE and deal more damage. Seeing as we are freezing and shattering everything with this build, more damage is going to pair nicely. Second up is Whisper of Shards. Anytime we shatter a frozen enemy or stasis crystal, we are going to get a boost to our grenade's recharge rate. Once again, this build heavily revolves around using cold snaps constantly, so more grenades equals more potential. Next is Whisper of Torment. Similar to Whisper of Shards, this will give us grenade energy when we take damage from enemies. In harder activities, this is going to make grenades regen extremely fast as you're taking more damage. And last up is Whisper of Conduction. This will make stasis crystals that we spawn track to us. It's not super strong, but this will make the mods that we use much better and will make it so that we don't have to actively pick these shards up. Most people are extremely set on Bleak Watcher or Stasis turret builds. These are great for passive control of adds and work in encounters like Master Vog has when enemies are pushing you, but this new build is much more versatile as you can use grenades to freeze enemies slowly as they approach you, or you can go balls to the wall and play extremely aggressive even in endgame content, as this build will allow you to quickly freeze adds in a huge amount, and with the increased shatter damage, killing these frozen enemies will be even easier. To take this build to the next level, we are going to be pairing it with the brand new exotic Osmiomancy Gloves. These are the main reason we are using Cold Snaps. With this on, we now get two of these grenades, and each time they freeze an enemy, we get increased energy regen for the additional grenade. On top of this, the Seekers now travel much further, allowing you to play a bit further back in endgame content and stay safe. This means we can throw two nades, freeze two enemies or groups of enemies as these do affect multiple adds that are close together, Shattering each of these enemies will then spawn one Seeker from the grenade and one Seeker from our Ice Flare Bolt aspect. So very quickly, we can start doubling the amount of enemies that are frozen. And by shattering one enemy, multiple will chain shatter together because of our increased shatter damage and AoE. And each of these frozen enemies will then leave behind a Stasis Shard. Real quick, before I go over the mods for this build, if you found this video useful, don't forget to drop a like and sub down below. Subbing is completely free, it helps me out a ton guys, and you can always unsub later. So, this build is great until you don't have grenades anymore, which is exactly where our mods come into play. The mods for this build require one stasis armor piece and three solar armor pieces. First and foremost, we have elemental shards. This mod is the entire reason we are using glacial harvest, as stasis shards will now count as elemental wells. Each enemy we freeze gives us a shard, and each shard we get is now an elemental well that gives us ability energy back. Second up is Font of Might. Seeing as we are on a stasis subclass and using a ton of stasis elemental wells, this will give us a 25% damage increase when using stasis weapons. Pairing this build with stasis weapons that have headstone or demolitionist are going to make this even crazier. Because we want this build to work in endgame content, we need to stay alive. So mod number three is Well of Life. This mod provides us with 10 seconds of health regeneration upon grabbing a solar elemental well. To spawn solar wells, we are using Explosive Wellmaker. Now, I personally love pairing this build with a Deafening Whisper or Salvator Salvo, both of which generate solar wells as they deal explosive damage. That being said, the Stasis Shatter is also explosive damage, so you do not need to have an explosive weapon for this to work. Last but not least is the Solar Mod Bountiful Wells. This is going to increase our ability regen even further, as we are going to get double the wells to spawn. I don't think this doubles our stasis shard generation, and since this is the bulk of the regen that we get, this could be replaced with something else, but I couldn't find anything that helped much more as this build was already becoming insane. Now with all of these mods, we are practically going to have infinite grenades, and I'm not saying this lightly either. It is going to be hard even for the average player to run into a point where both grenades are completely gone, not recharging fast, 
and have low amounts of energy. As long as you are using your grenades, freezing enemies, and most importantly, shattering these enemies, this build is OP as all hell. Shattering also doesn't mean killing, this means just breaking the ice off of an enemy. This also is super casual to use as you press one button, then click to shoot ads. There's even a clip in this gameplay where I'm going up against one single Hive Guardian and I'm able to regen nades just by throwing them at him and shooting when he's frozen. As a Warlock main, I think this may be the build I start up the next raid on. No matter the encounter, having good ad clear is always needed. This is not just insane ad clear by freezing everything, but it's also insane ad control. Let me know your thoughts on the build in the comments below. I hope this video helps, guys. Have a good one. Peace.